Okay, in this next video, we're going to have a look at sections in Revit. So, if you just jump down to one of your floor plans. Now, if you remember, this default template had this section set up already in Revit. I'm going to delete that. I'll just pretend that we had no sections there so that I can show you how to draw a section. Now, you want the View tab um, up the top and Section. So, in the Options bar, before we've clicked anything, we can see what scale we want to draw the section at, 1 to 100 is fine. Now click once and you'll see that you get to drag the line across um, through your project. So um, with the section still selected we can see its view range by this um, outlined blue box. Now what this is showing us is how much we're actually going to see in our section. So if I pull this really close and then so to go to this view, just right click on that section and say go to view, have a look. You can see that all I'm getting really is an outline um, of the walls and the roof. I can't see, I mean I can hover over that and see it, but until I actually go to my section and I extend the view range fully, now have a look at it, go to view. I'm starting to be able to now see um, you know, a lot more in that section, the components we brought in, windows and doors, etc. So that's how you can control the view range um, of your section. So if I wanted to cut the trees out of it, that's fine. Um, or you know, you could just change it to have a look at um, one particular room in your project. So we'll open that back up. Um, and now as far as presentation of the section line goes, if you click on that section line, you see there's a break line in the middle. Um, if you want, you can allow, that allows you to um, to drag you know, the lines out of your project so it doesn't confuse anyone. And also there's this two um, rotating arrows at the head of your section so you can change what the end of the section line looks like if you want. Um, you can do that on both ends. Um, and you can match them up. So this this one here, what that'll do is when you actually drop this section onto a sheet, it'll ref it'll write the sheet reference number in this head for you, so that um, everyone knows what sheet that's referring to. Um, and to flip the direction of your section, you just click these two arrows here, these two blue arrows, and you'll see that. It will change the direction that that section is going to look for you. Those arrows you'll see also come up on a lot of other items to be able to flip them around. Okay, and so in the project browser you'll see that our section is over here now. We can rename that, F2, rename that if you wish, or double click to actually go and have a look at that section. Okay, that's sections.